Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Wow, we're already halfway in January, and just yesterday someone was saying, do you know that there is only 340-something days left to Christmas? It's like, hello! appreciate where we are right here right now before we move on to another time and a place so how are you doing um how is the new year been with you are you setting your intentions has this been a change for you so i would like to welcome you to heal within by the way, for those of you who do not know me, my name is Lisa Bubari. By trade, I'm a clinical hypnotherapist, stress management consultant, speaker, coach, whatever it is. So you can always find me at healwithin.com. So now let's get that out of the way and talk about something that is happening around the world right now. For so many, there is all the good things happening. And yet when we look outside, outside of where we are, wow, I'm being texted at this moment. Oh, you see? All right. Turn everything off when you go live on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> my bad hello Bart how are you mm, I miss you girl when are you gonna come for a visit how are the kids doing um, if you are here live by all means uh, share with me an emoji say something um, if this is a repeat by all means uh, hashtag me with repeat and I love to have a conversation. I love having a dialogue with you all. Um, yesterday, I had someone uh, who went on Facebook, someone I am following, um, and she was talking about what is happening in Middle East after the plane crash of the shock that has happened. And one of the questions, was directed to me because I was originally from Iran and this has nothing to do with politics but they wanted to know how I felt if I am getting people commenting if I am getting people making remarks because there is a lot of remarks that goes towards them and everything well let's put it this way I I it's it's a very sad thing that has happened the same thing at it is very sad what happened in australia with the fire over there the bombing with iran uh with the ukrainian plane and so many who died because of other people's negligence or choices and so many are going through anxiety because of that loss. It is a something that has happened and it's tragic. And it affects us in so many ways. Uh, some because we are from that country, some because we are human and we feel it. And at the same time, there is so much that it's happening within our own community within our own state, within our own home, within our own body. And if we want to concentrate uh, our energy, our anger, our resentment and everything towards something bigger, what if we come and do it in a more loving way? I like to call it in a prayerful way. If we come together and say, yes, it is very tragic that it happened, but because I can't single-handedly do something about it, except pray, except send 
love. Accept, send, gratitude, and compassion, prayerfulness, and literally being mindful and holding space for those who perished and their families. That way, I am sending more love and compassion. And the same way as within my community, within family, and no matter where we go. So turning something that can be so harsh and uh, angry at each other, not only on Facebook, but outside, and holding on to that anger that fuels, fuels more anger, more bickering, fighting, and if we come together as one and hold space in a more loving way, the world would be so much better. We would be in a better place. And I'm not saying this because I want to preach at you what you ought to do, because everyone has a choice. So when they ask me my choice, my response instead of reacting is to take it and make it as an action of compassion an action of love a prayerfulness and i even lit a candle did a prayer and gave three minutes of pure essence of silence and that is only one little thing I can do for them but if I bring it back to my community how I can help my community my clients and I truly this is not about bragging but I become an advocate for my clients if there is anything I can help them besides the therapy that I do in here, if it is something for their family, if it is something for their friends, if it is something that it will directly help them to become better, stronger, to believe in themselves, if it is for their children, if I have the means, the com commitment, I will commit. I will even go to that point of saying, I will be an advocate and a voice that if someone I know can help you, I reach out to those. So in a way, um, I like to say someone called me and asked, what is it that I do if I am the right person? If what I do can help them? So this is how I responded. I said, yes, I am a therapist in a way. Uh, I am a hypnotherapist, stress management, anger management, coaching. But those are all certificates. They are just titles. They are modalities. They're, they are a means of how I can help you. What I help you is how I can help and guide you to become better, stronger, so that I can raise your self-esteem so you can believe in yourself. It's not about me believing in you or anyone else, but you feeling that you matter, valuing yourself, your gifts, your abilities, your talents. And by believing in yourself and knowing that you can do something, seeing the possibilities, sometimes, sometimes my clients who come to me, uh, yes, I use hypnosis as the means, as a tool to help them delve deeper into their subconscious mind, which is the reservoir of all patterns and behaviors that we have. 
but I like to say I help you see possibilities within yourself to explore possibilities things that you could not see because we sometimes hmm, hold ourselves prisoner in a prison that we have been the owner and the holder of the key but either we forgot to use the key we forgot that we have the key or we forgot how to use the key to open that door and walk out most times we are the holder of the key and there are times that someone placed us in there and yet the bars we can see through the bars we can see but we don't know how to look we have put our head down and recognizing only what this is even i when it comes to certain things with my business when it comes to technology i rely on my assistant i it will it will be easy for me to say it's not that i say i don't know even though i use that a lot but if i want to i can google use mr g i can google i can find out i can go and watch a youtube but it's so much better for me to hone my gift of what i do instead of spending hours and hours watching a youtube or a this and that when i can ask my assistant to do it and she does it like this and the same thing with accounting i can do my bookkeeping and everything but when it comes to taxes when it comes to doing all the uh, employee things and irs stuff i ask my bookkeeper my accountant my cpa to do their work because that's what they are experts in and the same goes with i ask a coach i have a business coach i have a financial coach it's believing and giving trusting someone who has a better understanding of what they do so let me look over here amen happy tuesday hi mark long time no see sweetheart see you probably have your own experts that you go towards hi nora john how are you mark is here bot is here mm, hello adrian so many of you have expressed the same thing asking me for referrals and i love to give referrals one thing i believe in is networking i believe in networking i believe in communicating sharing that's what collaboration is if i have someone who needs a therapist just yesterday someone i know who's an attorney sent me an email and said thank you very much for the classes that you are offering but i am looking for an acupuncturist boom within two minutes two minutes i have two acupuncturists that i trust and i believe in their work and i trust who they are you know who they are and they are kosher in the work that they do it's uh, i've seen the results and automatically i send it's not like why aren't you coming to me i can fix you no you want an acupuncturist here's an acupuncturist you want a cpa i have cpas you want an attorney i have slew of attorneys in different modalities i believe in two or three attorneys who not only work with me but are uh result oriented and good people so it comes from there I also have someone I refer when it comes to marriage and family counseling. When we need psychotherapists, if it is beyond my means, by all means, I refer. I'm not jack of all trade, but I am a jack of all trade in 
the human connection. If it, when it comes to self-esteem, self-worth, self-value, that's where I come in. Because we need to believe in ourselves in order to heal. That's when we go to, to a doctor, when we break something, we go to, if we break a leg, we go to an orthopedic. We don't go to a hypnotherapist. It's the pain that I can help you reduce. And through self-hypnosis, yes, you can reduce pain. I do it. I numb my gums and I have had fiber root canals with no anesthesia in my body. But uh, did you know that we can do hypnotherapy for birthing so you have no epidural? Yes, it is a possibility. Uh, C-section, um, hernia. M my master, uh, I call it not my master as a master to me, but our master hypnotist, John Butler, in London, he did self-hypnosis, listen to this, self-hypnosis, and went through the entire surgery for hernia, and they did a surgery on him, they filmed it, they showed it, it was all over. He teaches at the university in London, he has a school for hypnotherapy and hypnosis. So hypnosis is the means to an end. What I do is the same thing. I can help you delve deeper within yourself to experience hypnosis. By all means, I am so excited. I have to tell you. I have to share. But I can't share until it is live. I was fortunate to be selected and they came here. They did a whole filming in here. Uh, Two fantastic uh, awesome YouTubers that had to experience hypnosis and first they were not believers and then it was like whoa I can't believe I could not move my hands so but the moment I said come to full awakeness it's like Here's my hands, but for a moment, I thought I couldn't move my hands, even though you asked me to move my hands. So it's just the power that we have within ourselves. A week ago, just a week ago, a 14-year-old kid comes, the mom says, you know, I when I brought my teenage boy over here for self-esteem and for him to focus better for his uh, classes so he can focus better and get his grades up, I didn't think that it could work. And it could work, and I see the difference in just one week. And she says, and here's the funny thing. She says, as I was doing something in the kitchen, and he turned around and I said, what is it? Were you in hypnosis? And she says, I can't believe now I'm saying, were you in hypnosis? So hypnosis is not a magic. We go in and out of hypnosis every single day. I would love all of you to experience it. You know, in one week, in two weeks, in January, I am also going to have a session, a workshop in here for you to experience self-hypnosis. Come on in. Uh, I will be posting the link over here. Hi, Vazgen John. How are you? Hi, Robert. How are you feeling? I'm going to be doing a self-hypnosis workshop. And in this workshop, not only you get to experience self-hypnosis, but to know the power that you have within yourself. Just simple hypnosis, guided visualization so you can tap within yourself and learn the powers that you have, not me, you. Oh, today I changed my background. Um, and I was thinking, I want this beautiful lighting to touch my face. And this is, this is my background. Um, you see? this uh, this way and yeah this is where I sit 
and I face my certificates that I have and everything and the Kuan Yin and the crystals. Uh, I can't turn the uh, computer around, but if I turn this way, you see what I have right behind me. This is my gold mine, literally, from my charm bracelets that I wear uh, with my charm logo that behind it it says heal within and when everyone buys them it's um it's not only a bracelet but the affirmations that we do um, with the affirmation card that goes and I have a sound mind, a loving heart, and a strong body. If we do this every single day for 33 days and say, I evoke what was the history so that I can recognize to bring light to something that I decided I don't want to deal with it. I no longer want to think about it. But that's what therapy is all about, is to bring light to the things that we want to deny, we want to forget. We cannot delete anything about who we are or our experiences, but we can, through hypnotherapy, numb the emotional connection to it, that it does not affect us anymore, that every time that button is pushed, that button's out of order. It does not affect you anymore. That you can turn around and say, I embrace the present. I embrace what is. I embrace all that I feel, all that I am. And that is the only way we can evolve to a better version of who we are. And evolving is expanding, it is transforming, it is healing, it is blossoming. Ah, even right now, my tummy is growling. It's like, yes, yes. When something feels right, when something feels, when you say it, when you feel it, when you think it, and there's this internal joy, you know? Your entire body will speak it, will growl and say yes. Your heart will feel good. That's the difference between happiness and joy. We can't buy happiness. Happiness is from the outside. Happiness is, I have to do this to be happier. If, if I want to be happy, this has to take place. And sometimes when that takes place, we're still not happy. Because it's from the outside. But joy, this inner joy that we feel, the inner joy that your body feels when the right person touches you, when you have a hug that is genuine hug, or when someone says, good job, I'm proud of you. When you feel that inner pride, that incredible connection, the touch, it's from the inside. It's not what they said. It's not what they did. But what you feel, what you hear from the inside, the connection is from the inside out. So in a way, when we tap within and we are ready to heal within, it's bringing that joy, shedding a light to who we are so we can smile about everything, no matter what our circumstances, no matter where we are. 
and so many people who are in pain, in hardships, that cannot see outside of their own prison. And sometimes we sit there thinking it's the only thing. So reach out to me. If I don't have the answer, if I don't have the means of helping you through the therapy, if I do not have the means to help you, I will find the way. You can always text me at 818-221-2797. Please, by all means, send me a text. It doesn't matter what time it is. The text goes directly to my phone. I get it. Last week, I, I asked for text. Do you know how many texts I got within one day? Over 120 texts. And I responded to each and every one. Most times, we do, not, we do not see it right here. Text, those texts are private. They come directly to my phone. It is my personal phone that it comes to. So think of me as an extension of information for your wellness, for your sound mind, loving heart, and strong body. That's how you matter. Self-pride. I've said this over and over. Nothing can trump self-pride. When you believe in yourself and you stand up for yourself, that's where heal within comes in. That in itself is your first step in shedding a light, standing up for yourself and saying, yes, I matter. And I want to excel. I want to take the next step. I want to be better. It's the next path. It's the next step to whatever. So today is the beginning. Today, think of it. It doesn't matter what we have done until now. Today you have a choice. Choose for you. Choose you. So as you become better, you can help your family, you can help your loved ones, you can help whoever you are. It's starting right here. Saying yes, I matter. And by doing that, Use words that have power, energy, instead of low energy words in criticizing and bickering and fighting and bullying. And you see it? Get out of it. Read it. Delete it. And if someone has been a friend of you or online or they are doing all this bickering and things like that, Find the means to help them, shed a light for them and say, what if we can turn this around? That in itself is a very powerful therapy. You can do this on your own. Every time you think about something negative, say to yourself, what if, hmm? that means, what if I can do something different? What if I speak differently? What if I think differently? What if I do something differently? The word what if opens the door to possibilities. And that, that in itself is the beginning of one candle, one light. So, I hope today's message was beneficial to you. And if it was, by all means, would you please make a comment? Agreed. Very well said. Thank you, Mark. 
I missed you last week and the week before. So I hope you had an incredible holidays, that the family is doing well. And everyone else, hello, Kelly, how are you? Thank you for joining. We're almost at the end of our Heal Talk Tuesday. I come live every Tuesday. Heal Talk with Lisa. Every time there is a new information, inspiration, uh, affirmations that I share. And today I'd like to end with... Uh, with one of the quotes that I had in my book. <laughs> Funny, my book is not here with me. Um, actually, it is. One of my books that I had, Heal Thy Mind Body. And I shared this with a team that I was um, speaking to last week, a team of financial advisors and I shared about this, and I want to say there's power in group. There's power in coming together for being with one another and finding this tribe, and I am grateful for the tribe that we have here together. This is a tribe in a way and thank you for selecting and being present and live right here so one of the affirmations that i shared was hmm, let me see if i can even find it i have so many affirmations okay well how about if i how about if i use this one all right this is about food it's in my book in the healthy eating for healthy living so i talk about a lot of things because food what we put in our body is by us for us and why not something that is nourishing and good and feel good that is also healthy so i said you are what you eat and you control who you are thus you control what you eat let me repeat this you are what you eat you also control who you are so by eating you also control what you eat so choose better choose love choose something that is nourishing and healthy so that when you think about it you don't say i shouldn't have you say that was good no matter what you do don't go turn around and hurt yourself blame yourself for doing it i like to say choose better because you your body, your mind, your heart, your soul, everything matters, right? So thank you for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh, thank you for reminding me. Would you please if like and subscribe this session? You can always go to my website, explore, go to shop and see what is something that we are going to have the bracelets on the shop. My books are on the shop. Audio recordings, hypnosis that you can purchase. Listen to it day in, day out, and see the difference that it makes internally within yourself, in the comfort of your own home, right? So that way you experience hypnosis before you even call me. Uh, another thing, you can always watch the repeat on YouTube, on Heal Within, or even search Lisa Bubari on YouTube. I'm on Instagram. And uh, with that, thank you very much. Like us, subscribe, share, and I will see you next week. Until then, God bless you. And may the universal light surround you in white light.